playing down over there on the um, on the log. Yeah. And then we saw something shiny, so we all ran down over there. And it was in the early morning. It was at break time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we saw something shiny, and we saw two two people. They were in black, tight black suit, and they had big eyes and a small, we didn't actually see their nose, but it was quite small, and their mouth was quite small as well. One of them was running in slow motion up across the ship, and the other one was standing beside the ship. Yeah, you made a drawing, huh? It, was, it looked like this? No, yeah, something yeah. like that. I couldn't see the eyes or the nose or the mouth. It was just blank, like a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Well, when they came, I thought they were crazy. <laughs> was this the first thing you saw? <laughs> I thought they were crazy just coming to our school just doing nothing. And all I saw was something like silver coming down. And I said, what must that be? And everybody's crowding it. I must go crowd too. And then I went and I started crowding and everybody... Uh, then more people came and more. And then I said, hey, I can't see anymore. Come on, somebody, I'm short. Come on. <clears throat> And then I went to the front and I started seeing more of them and then I just ran away. Um, the day before the spaceship came, my friends and I we were sitting um, in the playground and uh, one of my friends, her name is Emily, she looked up into the sky and she said, oh, there's a UFO. She said, and I looked at it and she said, no, just kidding, it's an aeroplane. And we looked up and um, I thought to myself, that can't be an aeroplane because it was very shiny. It, was, it looked kind of like a cigarette, you know? It was a long thing, and then on the end it was all shiny. And um, so I said, maybe it is a UFO. So we were all kind of like getting scared now. And then um, the day that it happened, then we started thinking, yeah, there must have been a UFO in the sky. Because my brother also saw it, but he's left the school now. Mm -hmm. It was sort of, like, sort of like a round shape, sort of like a plate, sort of like two plates that were sort of like on top of each other. <laughs> Then there was sort of like the um, hole, the hatch for it, and there was sort of like in between two trees. But you couldn't see that clearly, and it was just silver all over. And it didn't, I didn't see any men or something like that. You saw one UFO that's surrounded by little ones? Yeah, one yeah, big one. One, one, one spaceship. One yeah. Little ones. Little ones around. Yeah, let me see. Let me yeah. see your drawing. One big... What? One big ship and then small ones surrounding it with, um, with there were lights. Yeah. Surrounding the ship. Like uh, Sean's, huh? This is Sean's drawing. Yes. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And okay, one landed. The big one landed, and the and two aliens they... came out. Yes. And what they happened with the little ones? The, the little, little ones, they were just flowing around in the air. They didn't touch yeah, the ground. Yeah, they didn't they touch the ground. The air next to it. And, and, then and that, these made the silver lights? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. were making yeah. different color lights, like yeah, green, like they'd red. they flash to green, blue. then they'd go to blue, blue and, and then green. Purple. Green. Yeah, yeah, purple, purple and um, red. But it was like it was going, like, each one to each one, but quickly. Like they'll go there and then it'll vanish and then it'll go there and vanish and then vanish. And then vanish. Oh, really? But going quickly. Like as if it was one ship moving. <laughs> yeah. Two places. Okay, uh, can this uh, drawing? Miller. Come on. Were they yellow? No. I didn't have a silver crayon, um, <laughs> so I <laughs> did it yeah. yellow. Yeah. So, but, but what, what happened? You, you came home and you told your parents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them didn't believe. <laughs> my mom didn't believe me. In your mom country. didn't believe you? My mom also. She didn't believe me. <laughs> Is that hard? Because if you see something and nobody believes you, yeah. what happens? Well, yeah, you, you feel start sad. To, you, you start, start to... You lost out. You talk yeah, to you, you start to think as if it wasn't true. Yeah. And people... People say to you, no, it wasn't true, so you, th you think it wasn't true as Then you think that you're mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And after that, you get all upset. Yeah, and everyone starts teasing. And my friends over the road, when I go there and I tell them about it, they just say, oh, he believes in aliens, oh, he's stupid. You've seen too many but, movies. Yeah. Was well, so there nobody in your neighborhood who believed you? No. Yeah, my, my, my mom and dad, my mom and dad, my, and dad. my granny and my granddad believed me, but my uncle didn't. <coughs> Where the spaceship had landed, all the the 
insects and ants and stuff like that were all dead and there was a huge black mark there. And uh, my mum said it might have just been a it might have just been a fire there, but I don't think there was. I think it was the alien ship. Yeah, but uh, have you, you have gone to the place, of course, and have you seen anything? No, we, we weren't allowed. An evidence? I mean, that it was there. Um, no, some the other people came to the school, and they went out the boundary of the playground, and they went to go and see what had happened there, and they saw that the grass was burnt and all the living things had died there in that yeah. area. His, him and his parents and his brother and sister all believed me. And my mother just believed me, but my dad didn't believe anything I said. Anything. And did you describe it, uh, describe it to them? Exactly what happened? Yeah, and I drew it on a paper and I said, Daddy, this is what it looked like. And then he saw it well and he said, uh, Michael, I think you're telling the truth now. And then that's all he said of it, and that's all. Who was scared? Yes. Not all of you, huh? Who, who, who was dreaming about it since then? Yes, yes. In, in, in a bad way? Bad way. Yeah, in a bad way? Yeah. No, let me tell me, you first in a bad way. Why? You have nightmares about it? Yes, I used to, but then after about a year, I stopped dreaming about it. Mm -hmm. I dreamt that um, the same one I saw without hair, he came into my bedroom and he took me from my bed. Did you dream that? Yes. Yeah? And then I just screamed. I woke up and screamed. And what did your mom say? Well, she, she just kept on saying it was a nightmare. She didn't really believe me. I wasn't scared a bit. <laughs> no? Not at all? Nothing. It was all fun to yeah. me. Um, I heard this lady on TV, I think it was Jill Dark, and she said this lady got kidnapped and she had babies that were aliens. That's what you're afraid of? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think the aliens came because they're uh, curious like us and, um, well, they want to learn about us and we want to learn about them. Some people say that, um, people are saying that the aliens came to warn us when something's going to happen, that something bad is going to happen to the Earth. Yeah. I think they came here to um, try and warn us that the children Cause that young. are... Because we're We've young. We've got a long time. We've got a long time till we die. Um, to warn us that in, when we're older, there's, there's to something going to happen to the earth. Yeah, not to pollute. Because yeah. we're young, we can still prevent it. Yeah. Do you still have all that feeling? That as a child you can do a lot? Um, yeah. Yes. I, my, yes. I have it. Yeah? Do you feel, as a child, do you feel privileged? Or do you think, next time if, if, if the UFO is coming, please go to another school? No, I feel privileged. Like it. I feel you feel privileged that you I'd saw? Be, I'd love yeah. them to yeah. come yeah. back and you could see oh, them again. Yeah. But only this time closer. Yeah. Yeah. Again. What do you want to say? The only exactly. thing I want to know, when are we going to be on TV? <laughs> <laughs> We sent you the cassette. <laughs>